I'm fine, thanks. Is that one of those you feel lucky to have gotten? Yeah, most definitely. I mean, they came out firing in all cylinders, and uh, we didn't play our best basketball, but, I mean, it's always great to be able to uh, uh, learn from a win. So I think we're just all grateful, obviously, to get the win and uh, come back in this game. You never know when a team is going to hit a hot streak. You, you, you just can't predict it. That being said, where was your perimeter defense tonight in general for the team? Yeah, I mean, that's something we've been struggling with all year is just, you know, letting guys get, you know, good shooters get, you know, good shots, and they're obviously hitting them at a too high of a clip, and that's kind of been a concern with our defense. And uh, that's something we're definitely going to hit tomorrow in film. But, uh, you know, Coach kind of warned us, you know, they had to deal with COVID and then uh, injuries. So, like, this was their second or third game with everybody, you know, full strength back on back on the court. So I think, you know, it obviously showed that they've been pl they played a lot better today than they have in the past, and uh, we just got to be ready for that. You struggled the past couple games. What was the difference for you tonight? Uh, just being more aggressive. I mean, just kind of getting to my spots, being more physical, you know, cutting, just finding other ways to score because, you know, I haven't had to deal with, you know, this type of attention or, you know, this much, you know, help side and stuff like that since I've been here. So just adjusting and continuing to stay aggressive and finding different ways, you know, to help us score as a team and just not myself. Do you think the word it might be out on you a little bit? Because you've elevated your game seriously, so are teams more aware of you? Do you think? Oh yeah, I mean I could tell out there, but I mean it's not nothing like crazy, you know. So I mean it's still basketball, it's still five on five, and you know I mean it obviously struggled for two games here, but just getting back on track and just seeing defense is better and uh, just tr finding ways to help us score like that's just the biggest thing for me right now. And that eleven and zero run to, to in the game, who was the leader on the court? Who, who, who said, let's go? I mean, really, all of us have been here. You know, I'm looking at Greg. He's saying it, Trim, Enrique, X. Like, you know, we all kind of got experience, and uh, we we're all just telling each other that, and then, you know, applying the pressure and uh, <clears throat> heating them up full court really, you know, changed the dynamic of the game in the last four minutes. Do you need one definitive voice to step up in those moments, or do you? It, should it be exactly the way you just explained it? I mean, it's different for every team, you know. That's kind of like the mystery for every year is finding out, you know, who's who's the leader, who can lead and stuff like that. And obviously we got to get better at that with, the, you know, having a different lineup and a different team this year. But I think, you know, for the most part, like we all understand what it takes to, you know, to win at a high level. We just have to do it consistently because we've shown flashes where we can do it, for, you know, for good periods of time and we just have to be consistent. Is it frustrating – now, mind you, they they have two very good players. But is it frustrating knowing that you that probably should have been an easier situation for you guys? I mean, I had you guys down as losing it. I'm going to be honest with you. So, is it frustrating when it doesn't come together like it like it should in that situation where you probably expected to win? I mean, it's like just the, just the exact scenario you said that happens in every sport. So, I mean, I feel like we like I can't really be mad about that or anything. You know, coach warned us, you know, that they have had some guys out and they could really play in their potential and stuff like that. And, you know, we kind of knew that and they came out on fire. But it's like, I mean, those guys play in the Mac like those guys are division one athletes. You can't just like be mad that they played well. But I mean, we obviously could have controlled a lot of things and, you know, forced tougher shots and stuff like that. But. I feel like we don't have any of that. It's just, it's the Mac. Like, you know, it's year in, year out, this kind of stuff happens. Take us through, like, that, just that final final play. I mean, because you guys didn't call. You had no timeouts. Mm -hmm. Take us through the final play, um, and then you, you making your move and putting that ball up. Yeah, I mean, Coach drew up a play for us, like, a few possessions before, and we they kept telling us, you know, we had no timeouts, and we all remembered the play, and it was just a counter, you know, for a uh, a play that usually goes to B trim and they all were calling it out. So, I mean, it worked perfectly. And then, I mean, I could have rushed it, but I feel like I didn't want to give them a chance, you know, like if we're going to win, we're going to win here. So just kind of took my time in the post and just saw my options and got to the middle of the floor and made a play. And then just talk about that last defensive side of things. Uh, Cause they got all, I mean, they got all the way down mm -hmm. two feet from the hoop and Reek be able to make, make a, 
easy shot, a little more difficult. Yeah, Enrique does a great job of that. Like, he's selfless. Like, he's jumping with anybody. He's diving on the floor with anybody. Like, that's that's something that he brings to us. And uh, it's something that he obviously did for us in a big moment right there. But that's kind of stuff he does, like, throughout the course of the game. Like, he probably walled and verticaled on people, like, a few times before then. But that obviously was seen, and it was a, it was a big play for us. Beatrim wasn't shooting well from behind the arc. Enrique was in foul trouble all day. As a teammate, what are you saying? What are you doing? What are you guys doing uh, from the student athlete perspective uh, to ultimately make those stops down down at the end and, and pull out the victory? I mean, just encourage, encouraging them. You know, obviously we know how well Trim can shoot. Just telling them to keep shooting. And, you know, he doesn't really have a, a confidence problem. He just, you know, and every shooter kind of goes through some slumps. So I know we'll get him back. And then Enrique, obviously, you know, he's kind of dealt with foul trouble. This isn't the first time. So I think, you know, guys just stepping up. Aziz did really well playing for a stretch for us, you know, just continuing to have guys step up and uh, everybody play their role, like, at, at their best level.